All right, Bolo Buddies, it is time for a Goodwill Bins video. It's been a while since I've put one out. Uh, I'm gonna say this is probably not the most exciting trip to the Goodwill Bins, but I did find some stuff and I may have missed something. So as always, I'm going to ask that if you see something that you would have picked up, please let me know down in the comments with a timestamp so that everybody can go down there and check out the comments and we can learn from each other. I'm sure there's things that I pick up that you would not pick up and things that you would pick up that I threw back in. So let's get started here and see what we find. So I'm basically just digging you know, usually when you get there first thing in the morning, a lot of times the bins have been out the night before and, you know, it's pretty picked over. So we are just going to see what we can find here. Let me know in the comments, what do you look for when you go to the bins? I am going to pop up screenshots of everything that I listed and tell you which platform I listed it on. Most of my items go on to eBay first and then I will cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. I have been selling on Whatnot, so some of the items you're gonna see I took straight to Whatnot. Uh, reason being is that I'm trying to add items over there to my Buy It Now and I'm also trying to add different little things into my jewelry shows so it gives a little bit of a mix so again let me know if you see something that i threw back that you would have hung on to you will see me pick up a lot of smalls here is an example and you know the funny thing is i don't i don't know if i put that in a different bag or what but i did you're going to see them here in a second. I found two more and these two I listed on, I listed and sold on whatnot. I believe I listed those auction style and I sold them on auction. I can't remember what I sold them for. I probably started them at a dollar or two and that's probably what they sold for, but they are very lightweight. So I didn't have a lot of money in them and I figured somebody could use those cute little bow and arrows for a doll or uh, just like a cute little collector's item. They were really cute. Halloween mask, I did not get that. I left that behind. There are some Halloween masks that can go for a lot of money. Um, definitely be on the lookout. I do have a video on Halloween masks if you wanna check that out. This is a Polly Pocket, so what I'm doing here is I'm opening up the inside to see if it has the small figures in it. If it has the small figures in it, I will decide, do I want to take the entire thing or do I just want to take the small figures and part them out? Those are two options you have at the bins. I did get that. I think they're Barbie accessories. I have not um, used Google Lens on those yet, so they are not listed yet. I'm not sure if I will list those on eBay or bring those to whatnot. I do use List Perfectly to cross post you guys. So if you're looking for a, a cross posting service, that's what I use. I love it. There is a link down below. It's um, my referral link, but there's also a link to a video that will show you how to cross post with List Perfectly. But you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code BOLO Buddies. And if you guys are not on Whatnot and you're thinking about it, I do have a link down below where you can join to sell, but you can also join to buy. And if you use my buyer's link, you're gonna get $15 to shop. So that's lots of fun also. If you guys have not checked out Whatnot, I highly recommend it. I absolutely love buying and selling on the platform. It's definitely a change of pace. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I'll be happy to try to answer. Um, but yeah, totally different. You know, I'm a very long tail seller. I list things high on eBay and I wait for the right buyer on whatnot. I am selling things very cheap and just moving quantity. All right. So lots and lots of items 
in a short period of time. So two totally different platforms. And I have to say that I really love both formats of selling. And I wasn't sure if I would like whatnot, you know, and I actually love it. So if you're thinking about it, um, and you have questions, please let me know because I was kind of on the fence as well and decided to try it. And I'm really, really happy and thankful that I did because it's been really a great experience for me. I did get this. I also sold that on whatnot. So that item was in my buy it now section on whatnot. It's um, an expandable vase. You put water in it and it expands and it holds flowers. It was pretty cool. And it was very lightweight, so I didn't have a lot of cost in it. And it was new old stock. So you can't really go wrong with that, right? And I listed that and I think it sold within two shows of putting it in my buy it now. So how whatnot works, if you have items in your buy it now section, if people buy something from your buy it now section during your live show, they get discounted shipping. So that's kind of a perk of waiting until um, someone is live to buy from their buy it now. Now you can use whatnot as a marketplace also. And I have a video that talks about that as well. So different ways to use uh, whatnot. And again, I recommend it if you haven't checked it out, if you're a reseller and you want to expand onto other platforms. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Would you guys have picked up these hats? I know a lot of people will pick up any hat. Um, most hats are bread and butter. Some are long tail. Some go for crazy big money. It really just depends on what you find for sure. This was a whole bunch of like hair clips. I don't know. Maybe I should have got this. What do you guys think? Would you have grabbed it? I'm feeling like I may have left some money in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I did pick this up. It is a Hallmark Baby's First Christmas. And I've talked about this before. Even if they have a date on them, people will look for them. Uh, they will use them as like replacements. So let's say they had the item and it broke and they need to replace it. Or let's say down the road, they're like, I want to get an ornament for every year of whatever. Um people will collect them that way as well. And uh, this also sold on whatnot. I can't, I think I took that to auction also, but I can't remember what I sold it for. It's really hard to go back and search solds. Uh, I would have to kind of just scroll and scroll and scroll until I find it. So it was two or three shows ago and I typically sell anywhere between 60 to 100 items per show. So I would have had to have really scrolled a long time to find that one. So I am guessing it was around $5. I usually start um, my items at $5 or less. Sometimes I start them at a dollar. Sometimes I start them at two, three. It really just depends on what the item is. I don't typically start my items any higher than $5 because, you know, the goal is for you to start your item at a price point that is going to encourage people to actually want to engage on your listing because if the price, if I start my item at $30, nobody's going to buy it. They're just going to move on to another show. So you do have to be competitive on whatnot. And sometimes, you know, your item ends up selling for a dollar or $5 or $3 and you don't make a whole lot of money. But you know what? People are going to come back because they're getting good deals. So that is the difference between whatnot and selling on like a platform like eBay. On eBay, I'm going to list my item high. I'm going to put best offer on it and I'm going to be patient. So two totally different formats. Both work really well and I enjoy both. All right, I picked this up, but I left it behind. Um, I think it was just some sort of like little Easter figurine and I just decided that I did not need it <laughs> and left it in the bins. I don't know about you guys, but I have a ginormous money pile, just tons and tons and tons of inventory. Let me know in the comments, how big is your money pile? <laughs> Do you have a storage unit? Do you have 25 totes full? Do you have, I don't know, what, what's your, uh, 
tell me about your money pile. It's always fun to hear about people's money piles. What's even better is pictures of money piles. I should totally do a video on people's money piles. That would be so funny. Oh my goodness, we could start with mine. It's like a money mountain. It's a lot. And you guys have probably seen it if you watch my channel on a regular basis in my reseller vlogs because I have shared it. It is a massive pile. And I just call it my money pile because it is just money sitting there. All right, let's see what else we can find. That was a little candle. I don't know why I left that behind. It may have been a little more damaged than I like. But I left it behind. Uh, do you pick up purses at the Goodwill bins? And do you check them? If you don't buy them, do you look for money? I know a lot of people look for money in the purses and the bags and different things like that. So let me know if you're one of the people that are searching for money. And if so, have you ever found any money? I think I found a penny once and I think I left it there. It's so funny. Yeah, I, I know some people that have found a lot of money in the bins. So I don't know if they just like leave the money in the item and pay for the item or if they take the money out and put it in their pocket. I have no idea what the rules are for finding money at the bins. If you know what you're supposed to do with the money, if you find it at the Goodwill bins, let me know down in the comments. Or it could be a, what would you do if you found money at the bins? I like that. You guys let me know in the comments. That should be fun. There was an old cooler. Some old coolers can do pretty good, but I did not want to mess with shipping that. All right, let's see. There's another old cooler. Would you guys have bought the coolers? Any cooler fans? Look at that backpack. That's pretty nice. Should I have got that backpack? I didn't get that backpack, but maybe I should have got that backpack. It looked pretty nice. All right, let's look through this section right here. These right here are stencils. I think they're by Tupper Toys, and those can do well as well. There were only two, so I left them behind, but definitely, um, I think I've sold those before. All right, let's keep digging. And we're getting into some more toys. I love, love, love selling toys, but right now I am very, very distracted from all of the whatnot I've been doing. So I need to focus on getting some eBay things listed. I've been doing a pretty good job the last, you know, the last month or so. I've been trying to get eBay stuff up as well, but between YouTube and whatnot, oh my goodness. I am a busy bee, a busy bee. What's a busy bee? All right, let's keep looking here. Um, was that a trapper keeper? Always look for Lisa Frank trapper keepers. I hope that wasn't one. I'm like looking back like that wasn't Lisa Frank, right? That would have been horrible to miss Lisa Frank. Now I do know that Lisa Frank is being re um it's in reproduction reproduction it's being reproduced um they're coming back out with it <laughs> i'm not sure which word i want to use right there so um yeah and so you want to make sure if you find lisa frank that it's the vintage lisa frank i do have a video on lisa frank and oh my goodness it is absolutely crazy what some lisa frank goes for so that's a bolo category video i have a whole playlist like that if you guys want to go over and check it out. All right, let's keep digging. This right here sold super fast. Um, it's the Wiggles. It's a feather. The problem was I could only get it to work in start mode. So it wasn't 100% functioning. I don't know if the battery compartment needed cleaned or what was going on. So I decided to just list the item at a discounted price and say that it only worked in try me mode. And I'm going to tell you that thing sold super fast. Now I didn't make a ton of money on it, but I moved the inventory quickly. Uh, those Victoria's Secret pink dogs, some of them can do decent. I would look them up. I did not look that one up for some reason, but 
um, they can be a nice bread and butter item. So definitely be on the lookout. All right, there's a phone. Anybody, anybody sell phones? I know some people sell like old um, phones from offices and, oh, maybe that wasn't a phone. What is that? I thought that was a phone, you guys. That's not a phone. But uh, people will sell phones from offices, like office buildings and stuff like that. I've seen that. Those can be a below. Okay, Veggie Tales. I did a video on Veggie Tales. Some Veggie Tales can go for big money. These are VHS, and I almost picked these up. The ones you want to look for are the ones that are from Blockbuster, or you can take multiples and sell them in small lots and make money that way. So Veggie Tales is a good pickup. Some are better than others. Uh, definitely check out that Veggie Tales video. I think you will be a little bit shocked at what some of those items can sell for. Uh, Veggie Tales is a Christian based um, series and it wasn't super mass produced. I'm thinking I probably should have grabbed those also. For some reason, I put them back. I can't remember if I comped them or not. These, um, this footage is from a while ago. I actually uh, put it in a closet and I've been so busy doing other things that I just recently, like as in last week, got around to listing the items. So I'm just now getting my Goodwill bins footage out to you. Uh, but the information is still very um, relevant because it's just a Goodwill bins haul of me digging. And basically, I just listed the items. So they sit and they sit and they sit in my money pile. And then I list them. And then I create a video for you guys. So just getting more vintage. Just more vintage. That's what I always say. I've got so much inventory, but guess what? It's going to be worth more when I finally list it. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes me feel better about my money pile. I did list this blue monkey kind of high. I couldn't find another one like it. I doubt that I'm going to get my asking price, but I did put best offer on it. Super cute. Had the original tag on it. And again, I've got it priced kind of high. List it, forget it, and wait. All right, let's see. We're getting down towards the end of the video. I do appreciate you guys being here. If you haven't hit that thumbs up already, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you guys to do that right now. That would uh, be awesome. I'm coming up on 35,000 new, uh, not new, 35,000 subscribers here on YouTube. All right, so this is a sock monkey, and it is complete open box. So I went ahead and bought that and listed it. It is in my... I can't remember. I think that's on eBay. And then we've got some DVDs and different things here. If the movies are sealed, I will typically grab them. If they are not, I usually leave them behind. Let me know what your thoughts are on selling media from the bins. Do you guys find good stuff? I wish I knew more about media. I don't know much about it. So anyway, Google Lens, and not even Google Lens all the time. You can sometimes type in the brand, like this belt right here. I don't see a brand, so I can't really look that one up. So some things you take a chance on, some things you don't. That's what the Goodwill Bins is all about. So thanks for being here, and thanks for watching.